everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your web camera in Streamlabs OBS if it's very slow, laggy, sluggish. So there's some things that we want to go ahead and change. So you can see mine is working pretty well right now. And I'm just using a laptop microphone. So we want to go over to our camera right here. And we can double click it. And just make sure you have the right device selected, HD webcam. And then we have the resolution right here. So you might be going beyond your resolution of your microphone you or your video camera. You could try dropping it down and see if that fixes it. So if it's like a 4K web camera, drop it down to 1080p. You could try that. But most of the time, you're having an issue because the frames per second. So you can go to the highest frame per second right here. Or you could try going to match output FPS. I believe this is going to match it to whatever your uh, predetermined FPS is. For your video recording. So mine is 60 frames per second. I went ahead and switched that. So we could go to match output FPS and then we can change it over in the settings for what we're recording at. So I just went to highest FPS. That seems like it's working. And it looks like I'm stuck at 720p as my highest resolution. So you can go down to custom instead of device default if you don't have these options right here. And then it should immediately look better. So once we do that, we can go to close. Now, if you want to go ahead and change the, uh, the output for the video, we can go to settings, go to output right here, and then scroll on down. Now you can also change the video recording quality. So I just set it same as stream. And then I bumped up the video bit rate to 7,000. So it's not going to be a huge file size doing this, but most of the time, if you go to high quality to medium file size or indistinguishable, that's going to be a rather large file size. So you can determine which kind of file size you want right there. Now let's go on over to video. And then we have the base canvas resolution and then my output. So you can have a base canvas of 4K and then your output scale resolution, what it's going to record at. So if you want a smaller file size, you can go to 1080p or 720p. And this is what I want to show you right here, the FPS value. So by default, this is going to be 30 frames per second. Bump this up to at least like 60 frames per second. And then you should be good to go with your uh, camera output if you have selected for that specific setting that I showed you. So this will make it look pretty good. I think it was match output FPS. So yeah, go ahead and just bump up the frames per second and the resolution on your camera. And you can always right click on this and go to filters, edit filters. And then you can go to add filter right here. And you can go to color correction if it's not quite looking great. So we can go to this. And maybe we can add some more contrast to it. I say this looks pretty good in terms of the color. We can maybe add a little more saturation. Ooh, sometimes saturation makes it look a little bit too orange. So I don't like that. So determine what level of saturation or anything else from here you want. But you can easily adjust it. Hopefully, this video did indeed help you out. Did leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. More tech videos coming up next on your six tech.